Okay, what am I playing? Uh, so I'm playing a deck that I affectionately call Yokes on the Shag, uh, aka, uh, well, it's Temer Ironworks. I'm not gonna play Sandy B. I am not gonna play Sandy B. Uh, it's a Temer Kark Clan Ironworks deck. Uh, KCI, Scrap Trawler, Mirror Retriever stuff. Uh, and Song of Creation being one of the big cards. This card doesn't, you know, we don't have to be a rug list to play it. But rug's kind of an interesting look at uh, at this build. I wanted to try a deck that operated similarly to eggs, but utilizing KCI more so than um, stuff like uh, Salvagers and, and whatnot. And when I first built this deck, Song of Creation just came out or was about to or it just it I think it just came out and it it seemed kind of interesting. So it's a it's a KCI artifact combo deck that puts more of an emphasis on the nuts than the eggs. Um this sounds like I'm taking the piss with everything I say here, but um Oh, there should be a moss fire egg. What happened in in bringing over this list? Shadow blood egg should be in here. All these cards should be in here, but moss fire egg should definitely be in here. Um, I could cut, yeah, I don't know what happened when importing over this list. Uh, what do I want to cut? I don't know what I want to cut. Could cut sky cloud egg, could cut sun grass egg. Shadow blood's a little loose, but also it's an egg. So it's kind of hard to cut. Um, hmm. Could cut a nut. Could cut life spark spell bomb. We don't need, we don't necessarily need scrabbling claws and Phyrexian furnace. So I could cut Phyrexian furnace. Could cut spare supplies. Not a big fan of spare supplies. I'm gonna cut spare supplies because we need this moss fire egg. No Thopter Sword. No. So I wanted to keep this less about playing the A plus Bs and more about I get my one central piece in play and then I, I'm fucking off to the races. Um, whether or not this deck is better than normal eggs, uh, that's a whole different story. I, d I don't actually, I don't know. I haven't played it for a while, which is why I wanted to, to play it again, because we've gotten better nuts and this deck just got a bunch of points. It got two points, but it's not really using them super well. Uh, Mossfire. Realistically, I'd cut Scrabbles. I mean, it's so good to have multiple pieces of graveyard hate. Like, you just get Ws in certain matches because you have a bunch of graveyard hate. Can I talk about the draw skull bomb? Seems strange. I mean, I can. It's a one mana artifact that draws a card for one mana. And then you can pay three and sack it to return something from your graveyard to your hand. We don't have a lot of black mana, but you do need a density of one mana, one, like one mana artifacts that replace themselves. Um, and the Skull Bomb is one that also just lets you rebuy uh, your Trawler or your Trinket Mage or your Urza. Like, it's one of the better eggs that you have access to, even if it seems like it's expensive. Put that one in there. Yeah, one of the other things this deck has done, like, we have trimmed some of the more expensive draw sevens. Like, I'm only on Twister and Wheel of Fortune. We are not as much of a draw seven deck as other, and, and Memory Jar, but that's that's cheating. This doesn't really count. Um, <clears throat> we are much less of a draw seven deck than something like Eggs or Paradox Academy. And uh, we got a couple of other uh, spicy little meatballs in here. Uh, we have Spine of Ishsaw. So for those of you that played KCI when it was in Modern, you might be a little familiar with this card. Uh, or those that play Commander. Seven mana artifact, DTB destroy a permanent. When it's put into the graveyard, you return it to your hand. Uh, it's pretty good at looping. It loops, it kills Collector Roof, which sounds funny because it's a seven mana artifact, but you know. Oh, where did it go? How am I down two cards now? Oh, Thought Monitor got clicked too. Thank you, Magic Online. I love you, Magic Online. Yeah, card's great, which is why I'm cutting it. Uh spine yeah it's just like a it deals with things it lets us loop it gives us a game plan of also just like hey uh i don't need to draw my deck i just need to blow up every permanent you have in play and then i can draw my deck uh 
spine and thought monitor thought monitor is a card that's been in and out of eggs as well um it gets a lot better here because obviously it's quite good with scrap trawler this deck can win without scrap trawler uh it's a little tough to do piloting this deck is just a little tough to do as well sometimes you just add a shitload of mana and walking ballista them into the dirt or you develop a really quick kappa cannoneer and then you just combo off and uh, attack them for a quadrillion yeah we have fast bond in here which might actually have gotten worse because i cut some of the draw sevens we could cut fast bond and add spare supplies fast bond is kind of just a, a reasonable card. One, if you don't have your academy, you play a land, you draw into your academy. Two, it lets you play your artifact lands, which you can get back with Scrap Trawler. And so they kind of just add three mana with KCI Scrap Trawler. So yeah, I'm going to try this out. Uh, we're going to make changes along the way. This deck is absolutely a work in progress because I had to update it from, you know, four years ago. Uh, my points now are Black Lotus, uh, Mana Vault, where'd you go? Black, Vault, uh, Black Lotus, Mana Vault, Tolarian Academy, and Wishclaw Talisman. Wishclaw is absurd with KCI. It's absurd with these artifact combo, these low cost artifact combo decks. We don't have Voltaic Keys, but that's okay. This deck could reposition to having keys. Like we could make some changes where we add Basalt Monolith, Rings of Bright Hearth, Voltaic Key, Manifold Key works well with you know our candelabra works well with uh, wish claw they're also like you could do a version of this with time vault i've been thinking about uh the version uh like kci combo time vault but uh you know there's a bunch of stuff you could do why am i doing one thing over the other that's because i just want to do it it's can lander you know part of the joy of this format is that you can do whatever the fuck you want you know uh okay let's start things off pywo please fight me Yeah, we have so many keys now. So many keys. I haven't played this kind of deck in a while on Magic Online. Obviously, I've been playing a lot of Academy when I can. Ooh. Okay. So we can grab our KCI on turn three. We can KCI, get KCI and play on turn three. Uh, I think I keep this. Depending on what we draw, we might even be able to get it out very quickly, like turn two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Is Fast Bond worth it? We can go Fast Bond, Land, Land, Moon Silver Key. And we have this Mox Diamond in our hand. We can go Land, Mox Diamond, Chrome Mox, Moon Silver Key, Activate Moon Silver Key. I think I like that better. Um. I think I like keeping the Valk over this. Uh, Cause that gives green. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so let's play land. Let's play a Mox Diamond. I think I'm gonna pitch that cause I'm more concerned about my mana than anything. I'm gonna play a Chrome Mox. I'm gonna imprint Fast Bond. I'm gonna play a Moon Silver Key. Theoretically, we could win next turn if we draw uh, Scrap Trawler. I think it's a little unlikely, but also getting this into play very quickly is, is you know, worthwhile. Unless this is Thalia. Intrepid Adversary. Okay. So Pywo is not playing Enchantress, despite playing an enchantment on turn one. Fastbond doing work. I mean, unironically, having Fastbond in your deck with Chromox is not that bad. Like, just having enough things for your Chromox is relevant. Uh, KCI, blah, blah, blah. Oh. I see. Well. 
I am going to develop. No, it's not GG because my mana is pretty bad for this. I am going to. Kind of want to preserve my life total. We're just going to play my KCI here. I mean, it is turn two. Turn two, getting down KCI pass is pretty nice. Sometimes, most of the time, actually, in the KCI decks, you usually want to play it and then kill them. Um, but for this, it's fine. We can we can play it and just, you know, hang out. They could have a Pithing Needle. Oh, I think they prioritized their way through um, their search here. Essentially, you want to play KCI the turn you're storming off. Yeah, I mean, it's a... Uh, it's not a hard and fast rule, but the, you know, making sure that this is safe is pretty important. It's nice that it'll rarely get exiled by itself. Wait. Archon of Ameria is a little scary for us. Nice counter Q. <laughs> okay, so we have to deal with this Archon. We got to deal with this Archon. Um, if we can deal with the Archon, uh, we can win the game. We have... Well, that's one way that we can deal with the Archon. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can spine the Archon. But then I can't play my Phyrexian Furnace. But I can spine the Archon. So I'm going to do that. Um, do I want to do this now? I mean, I can maybe afford to take another hit. It doesn't mean, like, I can't song unless I get another mana source. Maybe this is fine. Right, maybe we should just do it. I think I want to hold the Phyrexian Furnace. I could use the mana right now and uh, play the Phyrexian Furnace, but I kind of want to keep it to start going off with Song of Creation. Archon of Ameria is quite possibly one of the worst cards to face when you're playing this kind of uh, deck. It's It just shuts down both of your lines of attack, right? More or less all of your lands come into play tapped under this. And then one spell a turn is a little tough. White Plume's okay. If we could draw a colored mana, that'd be great. We draw a colored mana and we're off to the races. We might not kill them immediately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excuse me. Huh. That's kind of funny. Um, I'm going to sack my Spine of Ish Saw. I had two colorless. It goes back to my hand. I'm going to cast the Elsewhere Flask. Hopefully we can draw a land off this. Top. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sack this. Go to play top. Um, I'm going to spin top. Uh, 
None of these are... We can get Academy. But we're missing on the colored mana. That's the toughest one here. I mean, we're not technically dead next turn. Um, like, we're... They're not representing lethal on the board. I think I still want to develop this Sylvan Scrying. Uh, so I'm going to hold priority. I'm going to tap to draw with top, and I'm going to sacrifice top uh, to KCI. So we can fire this off. Eggs, eggs. Um, GS eggs. We can just grab, we can just grab Tropical Island. It's not a very exciting line of play. Is there a better one that we can grab? I could just grab Academy. Academy has a higher ceiling. Um, yeah, I think I'm just grabbing Academy here. Do I sleep with these shades? No, I only use them because of bright studio lights destroy your eyes. Especially my eyeballs. Uh, Dragon Flare, welcome back for the 30th month. I already told Adam, but you guys got another one. Picked up Street Fighter VI last Friday and I'm playing Cammy. It's my first fighting game. Ooh, hell yeah, let's fucking go, Dragon Flare. Congratulations. If I could stream without wearing sunglasses, I would absolutely do that. But, you know. Light sensitivity. <laughs> and it's not the computer screen. This is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. It's not even the computer screen. It's, uh... It's just the studio lights. Hell of a draw from Paiwo here. We... Hmm. I think I'm dead. Bricking on that top was pretty, pretty heinous for us. We needed to hit a land there while being able to keep the top on top. I mean, I guess Thalia... If we draw the lane there, I think we're not completely out of it. But now we are. I can play this song creation, but I can't do anything else. Unfort. Very close to that turn three kill. But Archon into Thalia. Archon into initiative into Thalia. Pretty bad for us. Oh. Eggs, eggs, e Sahili is kind of what you want to see in this match, but I, I don't have any fast mana here, and we don't actually have a lot of spells to accelerate her, so I'm going to Mulligan. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to keep. Could... I think I want to keep this Song of Creation. Excuse me. Over War of Invention? What's War getting me? I guess with Lotus Petal, Aether Spell Bomb, War can find Scrap Trawler. So we could bottom song here. Because War also works better because I'm going to be finding uh, Academy. So maybe I bottom this. Didn't know what... Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's... The only part about wearing these all the, like, when I stream that I don't like uh, is that people always bring it up or they'll mention it. And it's just like, look, I'm trying to just not, you know, destroy my eyes here. Should have maybe played this Lotus Petal. 
But yeah, it's just, it's shocking how much easier it is too. Like, even if my head is doing all right, you know, it's just less shit you have to worry about. If we draw a land, we're, we're doing, we're doing real nice here. Ooh, well, that's not a bad pickup. I was thinking about including um, a, excuse me, uh, Mishra's Workshop in here too. So we can Word Invention for two. Don't know what that's going to do for us just yet. Ooh. Tilted Tony, welcome back for the 31st month. What up? Ah, here's to another sub anniversary theft. Wait, sub anniversary theft. Uh, okay, well now obviously this looks a little worse. Uh, my partner is at work. Hello, Wheeler. Hello, chat. What up? How you doing? Thank you for the support. Glad I could steal your attention. Mm, that's a really good draw. Hmm. Play the key. Three, four, five, six. So I can't do it yet. I might just do it on their turn. I can find, I can crack this and find KCI. Right? Because we can, or sorry, four. Hold on. Uh, no, I can I can word of invention and a turn for three. Oh, do they have Aven Mind Sensor? Holy shit, they have Aven Mind Sensor. So they have Leon and Arbiter in play. I know they have Leon and Arbiter in play, but I mean the telegraphing for this means that. Uh, it feels like this is big Aven Mind Sensor energy. I'm just going to wait and develop my mana a little bit more. And then we should be good after this turn. Although Aven Mind Sensor is not really played. Ooh, Cathar Commando. Yeah, that's a, that's a pisser. Even Mind Sensor is not really played in D&T anymore. Card's just a bit too slow, expensive telegraph. So this is a real pisser. Now I have to get through this. Um, although... We might be fine. Much like uh, most of these slower, or not slower, much like most of these artifact-based uh, combo decks, uh, D&T is basically one of the worst matchups you can queue into because of this. They tend to pack more, um, more uh, disenchant style effects as well. Eggs, it's pretty, pretty bad. Uh, Valhallen Melta, welcome back for the seventh month. Hey, it's Wheeler. I've been considering my next, holy shit. I've been considering my next Canlander deck and I am stuck trying to decide between Welder or Paradox Academy. Can I help you decide? Paradox Academy, 100% Paradox Academy. This is, this is so sick. So they can't activate this and I think I can kill them. Um. <clears throat> So I'm going to... Also, how this card works on Magic Online is kind of goofy. You, like, pay Leonin Arbiter. You pay the Leonin Arbiter tax. Uh, so I can fire off this. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three. And then this is just going to find uh, KCI. They could have Solitude. I do need to worry about Solitude a little bit. Um, three for Scrappy T. 
and then I'm going to crack this moon silver key. Isn't that just how it works? Yeah, I mean, when you're playing the game, though, that's you don't go like, hey, I'm going to pay for your Leonid Arbiter. Like, usually when people are playing and there's an Arbiter in play, they'll be like, I'm going to tap four for my Demonic Tutor, you know? Like, there's this idea that it's prompted once they are going to actually take the action that causes them to search. Uh, I'm going to grab KCI. So hopefully we can get a little juice going. Right now we're just doing, um, right now we're just going to do, oh, did they draw solitude? Like right now, I'm just going to draw some cards here. Um, put my War of Invention on the bottom of my deck. Draw a card. I need to draw some of the twos. Oh, that's a good one. Play a Lotus Petal. Uh, I'm going to play a KCI. I'm going to sack a Lotus Petal. I'm going to sack my Spellbot to add two mana. And I'm going to return the Lotus Petal. I'm going to play Lotus Petal. I'm going to play my Memory Jar. I'm going to sack Memory Jar, but I'm not going to put anything into my hand. No, I have to, right? Uh, let's put the key finds Lotus. Am I going to need the key? Probably not. It just gets tucked away. There's the spine. We got another zero mana artifact here. We got a draw. We have a mind stone for our draw as well. Um, maybe I should be sacking this for colorless mana. I don't think it actually matters that much. Uh, sack this for two. Sack this for two. Now I do kind of wish we had Moon Silver Key just so we can get Black Lotus and make this a little bit easier. Um, but I can start sacking the lands too. Uh, I want to draw off my egg so I... Should maybe do this. Do that. Um, I want to draw. Wait, hold on. This is all a mana ability, by the way. So you can just keep on doing. Um, I want to play Mindstone. And I want to play... Not yet. I want to play Mindstone, I want to play Egg, and then I think I want a Monomo. I was holding my land for Inventor's Fair, but maybe just because I have to actually play the 7, this is going to be a bit better. I think my mana will be okay because we do have Lotus Petal that we can uh, rely on. Play that... Untap this. Because that just lets me add a shitload of mana. And then we can play... Do I need to play this yet? Zero. That's my one. Okay, so let's... Sack for two. And filter. Bring back the bauble. Ooh, the Ickerwell, Ickerwell spring is huge here. Cast Bauble. So now I have a two. It can go into my one. And this two is going to draw, but... Pfft, okay, well, there we go. That makes it a little easier. Uh, sure. 
pretty green. I'm going to sack the KCI. Uh, this, this is going to bring back my one. I mean, maybe Conjurer's Bobble is just better. Play my one. Cycle this. Got a twister. I don't think I need to twister here. Play this. Crack for three. Red. Mostly looking for a tutor here. Crack. Draw. I'm going to get back Conjurer's Bobble. Did I did I leave an arbiter yet? Ooh, Moxopole also makes this really easy. Uh, put Sylvan Scrapping on the bottom, or I could put Memory Jar, but I'm gonna get back my Memory Jar with Spine. I don't think I have it yet because Spine is seven, Jar is five, so that's twelve, and then I can sack. 12 plus 13, 13 plus a 1 plus 15 to 15 plus the 2. And then I sack a 0 for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm not there yet. This looks like I'm just spinning my wheels, but I'm actually working towards something. Like I can I can jar again, which is going to be pretty, pretty hot. Uh, so let's crack... Three. I guess I don't need to do this just yet. Yes. Spine. That's indestructible. Why is this indestructible? Oh, yeah, for this. Yeah, so I'm going to spine. I'm going to blow up some stuff. Uh, it's going to be able to come back to my hand off uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the jar, or sorry, off the trawler. Now I get back the jar, I'm gonna jar again. I'm going to find my pieces. It just takes some time. So that was through Leonin Arbiter and Cathar Commando, but they tapped down on the Cathar Commando and I, I don't think, I don't think they should have done that. Hmm. This hand's a little interesting. Mm -hmm. Don't know how good of a, um, I don't know how good of a, uh, uh, a viewer experience this is, but I'll do my darndest, especially because I might not be... If this was like Paradox Academy or more traditional eggs, I'd be able to run you through kind of everything um, a bit easier. But because I am playing this particular build for the first time in like three years, I played it a bit... Did I, did I end up playing this at a weekly? I'm trying to remember if I played this at a weekly. Oh. Uh, Esper Sentinel, real pisser of a magic card. I'm gonna get Trop. I'm going to feed the fish. They put Mum under this. I'm gonna play Mana Vault. Um, I'm not gonna cast the Grim Monolith or anything. I'm gonna, like, save my mana for a big turn, you know? Like next turn. I see. Can't cast more than one non Phyrexian spell. So I'm going to need to find a way uh, to get this off the board. Hmm. <sighs> Wish Claw. Um. Find me an academy. 
I could have tapped this and this Sylvan Scrying paid for one, played the draw skull bomb. Uh, I think I'm okay giving them an additional card here, the Academy, because I need, if I'm beating this, I need mana, you know? I need to like play my disruptive card and then also combo off. But turn one Esper Sentinel, turn two Phyrexian Sensor might be a little tough to beat, especially if they throw on. Okay, so it's indestructible now, which isn't the biggest issue for me. I mean, it means Spine is off the table, but we still have Surgical Skull Bomb and Aether Spell Bomb as outs. Or I could just make a big honk and Walking Ballista, but I don't think that's going to do it here. Scrap Trawler, huh? Oh, fuck, I forgot about Boromir. <sighs> All right, nobody else can counter Q me. <laughs> Play whatever you want, but don't, don't bring deity. I forgot about Boromir. Oh, and I forgot about that, too. Mm. Yeah. Counter Q. Shake my head. So scummy. Make streamer look bad. I forgot about this, and then I also forgot about this. Even while I was talking, I was like, I'm going to play this thing to get around that. I'll let you know if it's relevant. <laughs> I could play Scrap Trawler as a card to, to block this. I don't think that would have actually mattered. Arbiter and even Mind Sensor in hand. Mm -hmm. Saga? No, it's too late. Okay. Rough start. Rough start. Shaking my head, counter queuing the streamer. Unbelievable. I knew I, <laughs> I knew this is why I swiped, uh, uh, swapped over to Gladiator. Shaking my head, my head. GG's. We did take a game. I, I at least I hope that shows game two. I hope it shows how explosive this deck can be, where it was just one moment of Paiwo going shields down, and then all of a sudden you're just dead. You know? With a Leon and Arbiter still in play. Like, so it was shields down on the Cathar Commando, but uh, still having one disruptive stacks piece in play. And it just didn't matter. If, you know, if we can just showcase that today, then I, I think I'll be okay. All right, Calvin, please fight me. Point basic planes. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Didn't think my one card in hand was another tutor. This is all this deck is. I mean, even if you don't think it's a tutor, I, I don't think you should play that palace jailer. I, I don't think it's necessary. And it's just shields down for no reason. Ooh, this is a fucked up hand. Okay, I'll keep. I mean, it's okay. It's uh, missing some stuff, but depending, and it depends on what Kelvin's playing. Like, I don't want to run out this Mirror Retriever right away. Um, I kind of want to save it when I use my Ironworks because it pays for itself when you get KCI in play. The only time I might want to play it out ahead is if I want to just save the two mana up front, which I might, but I want to see what Kelvin's playing before I do that. Because I'm okay with having this in my graveyard sometimes. I'm not okay with having it in play against the Swords to Plowshares deck. Yeah, go get go get boosted and shwasted. Shboosted. Yeah, this is a fucked up hand. It's KCI plus a land that adds two mana and a bunch of artifacts. Holy shit. Uh... Honey Jack, thank you for the $20 donation. This is for a Wheeler workshop. At that price, I think I 
I think you should charge. Okay, great. I mean, I won't say no. Uh, I'll message you on Discord, but it's for a Chaos Jeskai Commander deck that always wants Possibility Storm out. Okay, we could do that. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, hit me up on Discord and I'll uh, get cracking. I got some decks to, to send out to people as well that I worked on yesterday. I should charge more. I'm thinking about redoing the workshop, like how the wheeler, how the wheeler's workshops work shop. Um, because one, I'm charging like zero dollars and I, to this day, I still get chastised for doing so from other creators. Um, and two, I think I want to incorporate, Ooh, this card's a, card's a hot one. I think I want to incorporate, um, the, like the Canlander streams, like we used to, where like I could, I'll play your deck on stream or pfft, you pick the deck that I play for stream, you know? Mm. The bottom, the bottom card of their graveyard is so screwed. Yo, Adam, are you going to, uh, you, are you going to the, uh, the Canlander event on the mainland next week? Oh, not this shit again. Unless they're mana abilities. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Did you also bring a Thalia deck? <laughs> Listen, if you really want to bring that, unfortunately, yes, but not really D and T. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, great. Kevin could be on uh, Boros. Like Boros humans could be Naya. Naya mid range. Naya humans. I think what it could be. What it should be. There's an event where, uh, at the, whatchamacallit, uh, what is it? House of Cards? Hmm. Ooh, okay, so reshape. Can I kill you? I think I can kill you. KCI. Chrome box. Uh, do I have a one draw? I have a cost that I can play or cost that I can pay. So I could do blue. What if I sack this and then Blue, blue, I want to reshape X's three. Uh, sack the two, no, I should sack the one here. Maybe I picked the wrong deck to play today. Uh, the one, sack this. Grab scrap trawler. Sack a two, return a one. Sack, play a one. Sack this, turn a zero. 
Play a zero. Don't have anything to exile. Uh, cast Mirror Retriever. And I have a, so I have a zero drop artifact. I have a one drop in my graveyard and I have a cost that I can uh, achieve at least for the first one. So I can sack Wingus Dingus Dangus. I can add six mana, play this, uh, which is gonna get me plus two, so eight mana total. And then I need to replay one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this gets back that, that gets back this, that gets back this. This will end up getting back that. I think I can just, I think they're just dead. Uh, I'm going to, so here's, here's the way it works here. This is the important part is that this is a mana ability. And so this is going to run down how cards are actually cast, right? Because when you're playing magic, you typically tap your land and play your spell. It's not exactly like so I'm going to, I'm announcing my intention. I'm announcing that I am casting Implement of Combustion. And then the game says, great, uh, please pay for this spell using mana sources. So I am going to activate Kark Clan Ironworks as my mana source in order to achieve the cost of casting this spell. This is all done simultaneously which means that when these abilities are going on the stack, Scrap Trawler is in the graveyard, Mirror Retriever's in the graveyard, and all that jazz. So then, like, notice how they're all there at the exact same time as I get this card into play. This then means uh, that I can create a loop. So I have Mirror Retriever dying to return any artifact, another target artifact. I have Scrap Trawler seeing itself die, Scrap Trawler, or sorry, Scrap Trawler seeing itself, Scrap Trawler seeing Mirror Retriever, Scrap Trawler seeing, uh, what else did I say? Not the Chromox? We got some stuff. Or no, that was the Chromox, but okay. So Mirror Retriever is returning Scrap Trawler. Uh, this is Scrap Trawler dying. Uh, hold on. This is Scrap Trawler seeing Mirror Retriever die, so we get a one drop. This is Scrap Trawler seeing itself die, so we get Mirror Retriever. And then Scrap Trawler seeing KCI die doesn't really do anything. So I get all these into play, and we get this implement. Then I'm going to recast Scrap Trawler. I'm going to sack the implement of uh, Combustion to draw a card and get back our Chrome Locks. I'm going to then play Chrome Locks. Uh, no, I think... I haven't done it with all the individual pieces yet. I think we're fine because we have a cost we can play, but this cost requires targets. So it's not infinite infinite because this is plus this is three mana oh i should have played something else before i did this because it's been a hot minute so the loop the big loop is just wingus dingus dangus and then you throw in uh a uh artifact and a cost um but our cost here like in order to to get the the priority for for casting this um so I'm going to, I think it's fine if I play this, then I'm going to activate Phyrexian Furnace, targeting reshape, and it's gonna ask me to pay, and then I'm gonna pay by sacking this, sacking this, and sacking this. Are we knitting a card every loop? No, because I run out of targets for my Phyrexian Furnace. If I get an egg, then we're like a more traditional egg. If I get a traditional egg. Uh, Mirror Retriever returns Scrap Trawler. Uh, 
this one, the imp, do I get the implement back? I think I get the furnace back, right? The implement, because the implement costs three. The furnace is fine for now. Uh, this is getting back prophetic prism. Oh shit, I misclicked. I was supposed to get back uh, mirror retriever. But it's fine. I can I can pivot. I may have misclicked, but I believe <laughs> I misclicked. But uh you're dead. I think I can still recover this. No, I just <laughs> fuck. Uh this uh you to start. KCI. KCI plus retriever plus trawler plus uh, zero mana artifact plus cost to one cost to pay for. Ooh, defense grid. That does nothing. L plus ratio plus. I guess the, the grid lets me get back combustion and it pays for itself, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I need to get in. Yeah. This is this was a bit more awkward, especially here. You know what? I'm gonna save myself a lot of time and grief. Uh Here you go. Uh, I wish I had my video. I was working on my eggs video for a while and then I just stopped playing eggs. Uh, no, I want the, there was a channel fireball article. Uh, Ironworks channel fireball. There was a channel fireball article that was pretty pretty good uh for explaining this although I, does channel fireball even exist anymore i'm not even i'm not trying to be a pisser was it sam party who wrote it kci channel fireball modern No, I can't even find it. It exists in name. <laughs> yeah, it's clunky. I, hold on. I need targets for the furnace to draw, but I can use the cost of casting for mana and then combust. Oh, this one. So it has Trawler, it has Moonsilver Key, but I'm a little... And to make it easier, I just need to draw any egg that replaces that one. But it's there. Just, it's my clock for now. Uh... <laughs> I think I got a mulligan this, even though I have star into key. I've star into key, but it's a little awkward. Oh, well then. Turn one memory jar. I think I'm keeping this. I don't even know if turn one jar is actually worth it. Like it doesn't do anything. It doesn't accomplish much. I'm going to lead turn one mana vault and then see how we go. Oh, it was a, it was mad Nass. I thought it was, I thought it was Sam black. Maybe it's mad Nass. Like I thought it was a Sam. Sam. 
Maxi article. I thought it was in my head. It's Sam Black or Sam Pardy. Sam Pardy. PCI article. Oh yeah, I think I found it. Uh oh, here's one. Oh, it's just gone. The article is gone. Cool. It's just gone. I found the resources. Yeah, Matt Nass was doing well with the deck. Yeah, Sam from Mystic Studies. I mean, fish away if it kills me. Um, I'm going to play the Lotus. I'm not worried about storm count in this deck. I have a Google Doc with all the loops in the article if I want me to link that in chat. That'd probably be helpful for people, yeah. Or do I know if I've ever played Channel Mirror at any lure events? I feel like I saw you play I don't know. I played Garbage Platter with Channel Mirror in it. Fuck, this deck is tough. My mind is racing with all the weird lines. The modern deck was uh, much easier to play. And that deck was difficult to pilot. But it was easier, obviously, getting the loops going uh, and, and the actual way that you pilot through your loops was, was a lot easier. Um, because this one, you have to swap in all these different pieces. How much do you cost? Four mana? What are you fucked? Um, do I want this jar in play? I think I want to play this jar. Does this compare to normal eggs? Um, it's more, it's less A plus B that can pivot and more just like central on doing KCI and scrap trawler loops. Um, I haven't played my land for the turn, so I think I want to go with this. Cause I could hit, there's a bunch of hits that we can have. I'm just doing this to like maybe hit my land drop and play out another card or two. Ooh. So, we got Transmute Artifact. Can I get KCI in play off us? Play the land. Crack, I float to. No, we can't get KCI. I can get Trawler in play. What does Trawler in play do? Not much against a Boros deck here. It's a little terrifying. Um, I could just develop Urza Saga and Skycloud Egg. Because then we put all these in our graveyard. I think I like that. Because then I have a game plan of making Karnstrucks. Uh, I could also play a land that isn't Saga. I could put Scrap Trawler in play. Is that worth it? My opponent's on Boros, and they have four cards in hand. Boros is the kind of deck where I don't want to do this immediately. I think I'm just on Saga Skycloud Egg. Or I could go... Is there a two that I want to put into play? Sack the Mana Vault. I mean, I could find... Mana Vault's pretty good in my yard. Two drop. Two drop. Two drop. One drop. Do I want... I could get Expedition Map. Transmute this into Map and play a Shadow Blood Egg, it loses my Lotus. Three. Fuck, I forget what I put away with my memory jar. Uh, I should have taken a picture, just double check. Um, I think I want to do this. Because this Mana Vault's not really doing anything for me. Uh, just this second. 
Sack this. I could also just put, uh, I could put Wish Claw Talisman into play. That's kind of fucked. What happens if I put Wish Claw Talisman into play? If Wish Claw goes into play. Wish, is Wish Call and play better than map plus egg? I think I like map plus egg. Because this at least turns this memory jar. This wasn't the best memory jar turn, but it did give us something to work towards. Like it gives us a... We, we hit our land drop, but we developed a pretty powerful land. We have a way of now either grabbing Tolarian Academy or um, Inventor's Fair or Buried Ruin. Oh, we've got... We got Mandible and Lotus in the yard, which is not that bad. We do need a uh, trawler. This is the most grown out you've ever seen my beard. Well, soak it up right now because it might not be here tomorrow. Also, how can you see my beard? I have stuff in front of the, front of the thing. Uh, Pyro's mom, welcome back for the 15th month. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you in May. Say good to see you. Thank you so much for the support. Hope you're doing well. Mm -hmm. Storybook vendor. All right, this is only their turn three. They didn't vend any stories. Ranger Captain. That's a pretty powerful magic card in this matchup. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's a good draw. So I'm not making a construct here, but I am going to be finding myself a Tolarian Academy. And then we're just dumping Tweedledee and Tweedledum here. Calvin, I'm getting explained. Look, if anybody's going to explain, at least it's me. <laughs> Chat, tomorrow for Loading Ready Run, for Friday Night Papier Fight, we are playing Costume Commander. If you missed what it was last year, um, well, last year was a bit of a, a mess because some people didn't get, well, they didn't get the message. Um, but this year, it is, uh, we're all dressing up. We have costumes and we have decks that are themed to match our costume. You're missing the egg frame. <laughs> Just bring it back. Am I pulling out the Pagliacci costume? No, I have something that is much, much more elaborate. Joke's on you, I wasn't gonna cast shit this turn. Well, I was gonna cast Thought Monitor and I was gonna make a card instruct. Getting LED doesn't really help here. I could get candle 
because that just opens up a lot more mana. I think I'm getting king. Play a thought monitor. Draw a couple cards. Ooh. Mm, I kind of want to play, or I kind of want to save the, the trop for my Mox Diamond. I think I'm passing the turn here. I mean, I guess I can do this. What? Hello? The Surgical Spell Bomb kinda helps against the CZDZ. Yeah, we're gonna have a, a whole bunch of mana here. It's Baby Nutta, Pawfi outfit. <laughs> no, this is, this'll be good. This'll be good. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I have literally, there's a reason why I haven't gotten my hair cut. I've been growing it out for this costume. I am going to 100% commit harder than uh, anybody else. <laughs> Not in a way where it's like, oh, how come you guys didn't dress up exactly, you know, with the same amount of input that I... Huh? I don't think... I don't think they can hear me and I'm okay with that. And, uh, yeah. Do I wait till the eggs player uh, starts going? Yeah, you don't need to, like... I, I don't like just throwing it off in the main phase. I like seeing whether or not I'm going off or like waiting until the turn where it's like, okay, I have the, enough pressure to kill you. Mind you, they know that they're going to at least get to attack with this. Like maybe they're not thinking about the thought monitor. You know, like I, I, can, I can understand why. I think it might've been a little aggressive. I mean, last time I committed harder, but, um, you know, slightly different set of circumstances, but this time, this time will be good. This will be good. Hey, please don't kill me. Wow, they get to scry and then explore? Wow, and they got amazing lightning bolts. I can't do that. Don't lightning bolt. This is so fucked. I know this is just Boros humans, but it is very funny that it's like Thalia deck to Thalia plus lightning bolt deck. Please don't bolt me. Please don't bolt me. I mean, if they had a bolt, they would have uh, tossed it at my head, which is good. Which is good. Kind of want to keep this pirate spell bomb around. Ooh, showdown the scalds. Hot shit. Oh, yeah. Aomer, Swords, and Spirit of the Labyrinth. Okay. Let's... Mm. So I can attack them with just... They're at 17. Can I kill you? I might be able to kill them with just, like, damage. You can take a card. Pitch this. Um, I have so much mana. I'm fine just like casting all these and doing some doing some egg stuff. Casting these and then I start adding a bunch of mana. I'm going to untap my Tolerian Academy. I'm going to tap my Academy for a bunch of mana. I'm going to add a red. Then I'm going to use my candle to untap all these. Oh, right. I... Candle always does this to me. <laughs> Selected three. Let's say done. Spend the mana. Untap the mana. Tap the mana. Lick the book. Lick the book. Lick the book. Lick the book. Shitload of mana. Okie dokie. Let's start cracking. Um, I am going to start by sacrificing my surgical skull bomb to return my thought monitor. I get to draw a card. 
Go to replay my thought monitor. Go draw some cards. Sylvan Scrying, and I haven't played my land, so that gets me uh, Inventor's Fair, which lets me really go to the races. Off to the races, even. That's go, <laughs> go to the races. Scrying. Inventor's Fair, right? We don't need... Uh, I think Trawler is what I want to get. Unless, hold on, 23, 20, I have 20, I have 24 mana. Uh, I have 24 mana, so that's a 12-12 Walking Ballista. <laughs> it's a 12-12 Walking Ballista, so I can kill these three, so it's nine, and this is how big? Get out of the way. Uh, yeah, okay, let's just do that. I should have got Teleria West if this was my lane. I mean, this does lose to Solitude, but, uh, this line loses to Solitude, but it's quicker. <laughs> So here's hoping they don't have it. They have a path to exile? Yeah, but they got no mana. I think if they had solitude, they would have solituded my uh, thought monitor anyways. Oh, sick. I take the initiative. So yeah, I, I clear their board, I hit them for 10, and then I ballist them for the rest of the damage. <laughs> it's nice not to have to track my mana. Yeah, that's, that's one of the upsides about playing a deck like this on Magic Online, is that when I play this deck in paper, I have to track my mana, but importantly, I also have to, like, verbalize my mana. Um... Which gets tough because like I'll be I'll be saying things out loud that make sense to my head, like in my head and like the calculations I'm doing and like the lines that I'm running. But my opponent will be like, you mean you pay three? And I'm like, yeah, sorry. I mean, I'm paying three to do this for two to get this. Uh, yeah. GG's Kelvin, WP. Are you were you Boros humans? Are there any big cards for this deck that aren't yet available on Motor or Bugged? Uh, not this deck. Nope. Not this one. None that I can think of. Mm, let me, let me grab a, let me grab a medicine one sec. Yes, I would like to go first. Uh, I have a hand with Black Lotus, I'll keep. We've already been streaming for two hours. Holy shit. I guess time flies when you're, uh... <laughs> time flies when you're tapping academies. <clears throat> Ooh, 
What about that for a line of merch? It's just a bunch of those like rather be fishing kind of uh, shirts or hats, but instead of fishing, it's tapping to Larry Academy. I'd rather be tapping to Larry Academy. Ponder, okay. Happy you've been streaming more Gantt Leonard lately. Me too. Uh, I hope you like it because it's basically this. The Gantt Lander streams are going to be the default for now. And the way that the Gladiator streams used to kind of be the default, the Gantt Lander streams are now the default. Maybe I should have saved it. I'm kind of trying to hide the fact that I have red mana for Pyrite Spellbomb. So I could have shocked myself, but I don't think that's the way I want to do this. <clears throat> we do need some action. We need a, a tutor here. This deck does a worse job of the like, just cycle through my deck cracking eggs because we don't have uh, Salvagers or uh, Face Reward and, and whatnot. Why did my steam just open? Pentad Prism. Uh, the old Pentad Prism plus Collector. Oof, deck. Hitting my Lotus is a little bit of a pisser, but it's not the end of the world. Ooh, that's a good card. <laughs> Content I sub for all those moons ago. Super happy we're back. We're so fucking back. Uh, technically, should have played the Great Furnace. But that's okay. Oh, gotcha. My commander is my co-pilot. I always thought that making bumper stickers that said my other dark depths is a thespian stage would be kind of funny. My other commander is for color identity. My other commander is also Thrasios. Thrasios is so funny. Now that I've played some CDH and I'm like being reading up on the format and like the decks and whatnot, Thrasios, just like as a concept, is just really funny to me because <laughs> you just have this card that is like, hey, what if it's a, what if we were a two mana, stick with me, what if we were a two mana commander with partner in green and blue all right you're still with me great so our two mana commander with partner in green and blue and what if we had an infinite mana sink that also drew our deck for us like it's just so funny it's like oh okay cool and it's in the best two colors oh get fucked <laughs> Well, well, well. Ah, oh, my game plan is coming alive. Oh, I might be dead if they're storming off. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. I play like 31 lands, by the way. Nice deck, thanks, dude. 
made it myself. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? On the plus side, if they Armageddon, we get to rebuild pretty quickly. You know what I should have done in their upkeep? I should have, like, tapped blue mana <laughs> just to psych them out. Oh, I see you're also a pilot of culture. Um... I can't Word of Invention anyways. I don't really have great instant speed stuff. No, please don't cheer for my downfall. It's the one thing I don't want to have happen. Mistfall Bridge is an interesting one in Storm. I guess it provides another artifact for Beseech. The other Beseech. <laughs> I don't want that. Grime Tutor? Hey, they might put themselves in uh, Pirate Spellbomb range. Green, green... Oh, are you Behold the Beyonding me? Holy shit, do we get to see Behold the Beyond in 2023? No. <laughs> hey, never mind. Wait, no, Inventor Sir would also not be a good draw. I don't actually know what I can draw that would uh, help me out here. I mean, I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Oh, I know what I could draw. Scrap Challer would be pretty good. Challer's kind of hot. The fact that we can get LED and it just doesn't do anything here is nice. I think maybe LED should actually be cut from this deck. Um, yeah, it's, it, LED might be too awkward. I could put in... <laughs> we could put in like... Uh, like a chain of vapor. Holy shit, they're on past in flames. So we should be dead here. If anybody is not familiar with the old school storm decks, um, Behold the Beyond. Basically, it's just you count to seven, cast Behold the Beyond, and then you can just kill them. Depends on what their point spread is, but like if they're they I mean they got they got mana here. So it can be like they used Lotus, actually. This is important. They've used Lotus and they've played their land. They have Past in Flames in the graveyard, but they would need, I mean, if they get like Petal, what, what is Storm? It hasn't even counted Storm yet. Petal, Petal Dark Rit, uh, Yogwill, does it? Yeah. There are spots where if you use your Lotus to get up to your lethal, it can uh, be a little tricky. Cast this, cast Dark Rit, cast, uh, whatchamacallit. Now I'm going to turn off auto yields right at this moment. I'm going to terrify them. Wait, 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 no, no, look at my hand, look at my hand! Fuck. Oh, I, I, I drew two more lands. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. This isn't like a turbo hand, but it does give us a bunch of cycling. Our mana's okay. This is a, uh, maybe, oh, excuse me, maybe, um, 
Maybe I uh, should mulligan more for either uh, graveyard hate or um, speed. I'm on 31. <laughs> I'm on I'm on like zero lands already. Uh, I'm gonna cash in this bobble. But not right now. I'm gonna cash it in on their turn. Don't wanna get hit by hand attack. Or I could uh play my Delta. Pass. Cash in my bobble on their turn, targeting myself, and then seeing whether or not I wanna fetch. I am the premier lands pilot of the format. That is true. My James Day? Isn't it James's birthday? I think it's James's birthday. So yeah, I'm honoring James's birthday. I didn't say happy birthday to James. Although James said for his birthday, he's going to be off. He's not going to be online at all today. Okay, so if I'm drawing this many lands on James's birthday then that means that he has to, because my birthday is on Saturday. So if I'm drawing this many lands for his birthday, on my birthday, he has to just draw zero lands. The big 4-0, that is so incredibly rude. James isn't that old, right? Right? Is he 40? He, there's no way he's 40. Oh, maybe he did stream today. He's definitely not on Slack. He's 40? He looks great for his age. Ooh, the double wheel. There's no way. Is he online right now? I'll go. I'll go ask him. There's no way he's 40. He said he did lure stuff for half his life. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's 40. Usually when people say half my life or so, they like aren't necessarily saying down the middle. Wow. Forty-year-old content creator, huh? Uh, Wheel of Fortune seems like a bad, bad plan here. So I'm gonna time twister. I mean, it puts stuff in our graveyard. Uh, I could. I mean, if they discard the Yog Will. Maybe it is Twister. Putting two putting two drops on my graveyard is not super relevant. And we have a one drop here. It's it's Wheel of Fortune. The wiki says he's 40. Can the wiki really be trusted? Can the wiki really be trusted? I am going a little shields down, but I think that's okay at this at this turn. It's not completely shields down because we have the claws and they have yet to fetch. But I gave you a free card. Do I want to tell the wiki it can't be trusted? No, because if I tell the wiki, I look, the people that do the that uh, work on the wiki, uh, God bless them. They're you know they're doing a whole bunch of stuff uh, that really makes the lure community, you know, uh, a community. Um, at the same time, <laughs> pretty sure. Like I don't know how frequently it gets updated. I mean, <laughs> remember how long it took for me? Like I was salaried for like a year before it. Um, before it was like, hey, okay, fine, you work here. It's like, good. <laughs> I 
because Canadian revenue says that I work here. I should hope I work here. Also, it doesn't have Jordan on here. How come Jordan's not on the wiki? Damn, you're going off? Maybe I should have kept up a uh, mana for this. We can exile the, the Desperate Ritual. Red mana is really awkward. I mean, they have double black here. If I just wheel them into another... Ooh, into Wishclaw. All right, well, I'm going to do this. And then go nuts. Angel was on the wiki before me. Wow. It's so messed up. It's so messed up. Next time I see you, I'm going to go, Are you the angel from Morning Ready Run? Uh, one lucky ghoul. Welcome back for the 37th month. What up? What do I think of Dan Dan, but all the lands are Ristic Cave? Huh. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Why would you make the lands Ristic Cave? All of them are Ristic Cave? Also, doesn't your Dan Dan just die? Oh, do they have the Behold or the Diabolic Rev? Uh... Storm is five, so they get Dark Rit, LED, Yogwill, and then they Dark Rit, play, Dark Rit, play, LED, cast Yogwill, float three, and then they replay Lotus, replay Dark Rit. I guess Cabal Ritual kind of does the same. I think LED is better. LED leaves you with more mana because you have to behold the beyond. Oh, they're Beseech the Mirror. Uh, so Beseech is your tutor. So you Beseech, find that, sack your Crow Mox. Oh, and you're just going to Tendrils me because I'm at 18. Oh, Guy as well. Okay, they're showing off. Wait, what do they sack to this? It's called Pay Pay. All right, well, they turn three'd me before I could turn four them. Hashtag Canadian Highlander. Why is that so loud? This list does suffer a little bit uh, against... I mean, eggs lists have always kind of suffered a bit against Storm. It, well, if they're on the silences. If Storm is on silences, it can be a bit tough. It's tricky. It's always been kind of a weird matchup because the eggs deck becomes like the control deck until it just combo kills them, but it's hard to combo kill them because of silence and the hand attack. Yeah, it's tough to twist her against them. But in that case, I'm not, like, I'm giving them one extra card and then randomizing the rest of their hand. So it's all cards that they didn't keep, you know? Even with the Grim Monolith, I think it's okay because they they didn't have a lot of black mana when I did it. And just like, I gotta kill them too. And I, I don't think my turn of Sleeper Dart plus, well, just Sleeper Dart. I guess I could go Sleeper Dart and Golden Egg and then just like wait. But yeah, we are uh, was was not not the not the best spot not the best spot. Uh, Kaza Khan, please fight me. Um, this is another thing that we can do in the storm matchup is get the one ring. Uh, I have yet to div to draw it or see it. But the one ring's pretty good with KCI, too. 
and your loops if you need to. It's not the most reliable thing, but you can kind of just like give yourself pro everything every turn. That's kind of funny. I mean, I'm going to mulligan this hand because it's got a whole bunch of lands, but uh, yeah, I'll keep this. So I'm going to want this Song of Creation. Obviously, I want this land. This spell bomb draws me towards doing things. Uh, I'm putting back. I think I'm going to put back this Icar Wellspring. I'm going to keep put back Icar Wellspring. This is a risky one lander, but uh, that's fine. We got redraws. Uh, I'm Cobra. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Cobra. I'm Dad. <laughs> smile so much I develop wrinkles for the rest of my life. What up? No, you can bring whatever. I don't actually care what you bring. It's fine. There are some people, I mean, I don't know if they're active within the community anymore, but there are some people that are like, yeah, I just counter cue you every time. It's just like, oh, okay. Why? And they're like, I want to put you through the grinder. It's like, what? Okay. Sure. But uh, that doesn't really happen anymore. Land? Fuck. This hand's still pretty hot. If we draw our second land, uh, we just, we're off. We're off. We're, we're off and we're running and we're killing and we're doing things. I could have tried to redraw for this, but I kind of like getting this into play tapped because it makes it a little easier if we song a creation. Because if we go untap land, uh, Sylvan Scrying, Academy, Song of Creation, start going off or try to go off. Also like ponder, blue two blue green lands plus ponder is not like the most inviting. Am I getting stifled here? Gonna give me another uh, another migraine. Do I want to play into spell pierce? What do they do with their ponder? They shuffled off their ponder. Yeah, I'll I'll throw out this scry. We could uh, get hit by a spell pierce spell snare, but uh, I'll run it. Ugg Omnitel. That would be sick. I'd be down to fight uh, Blue Green Omnitel. I was thinking about playing Omnitel uh, one of these days. I played it at a tournament. I lost in the finals with it. Did I lose in the finals? Did I get knocked out before the finals? Adam, do you remember? we put? Did we play that tournament? You were on Thoracal? Let the sun shine upon this Cat Islander, sea. welcome back for the second month. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How are you doing? How you been? Thank you for all the support. I'm trying to remember if that's when I lost to Allison in the finals, but I think that was not this event. Three mana. All right. Well, I'm just gonna develop some eggs. I, I just need to keep like one card in my hand for Song of Creation. So I need to play a bunch of stuff out here. <laughs> Holy shit. Matt, Matt, I remember ages ago playing you on Omnitel and then paired against Kilby on Omnitel the round after and it was a stark difference in piloting. Jesus. Now, I understand that in this context, you're roasting Kilby. <laughs> but holy shit. I'm going to play the egg here because I have the, the flask and the temple. I'd rather just get this into play. Very funny. I forgot who I lost to in the finals. I remember having a wild game against uh, Death and Taxes where I just like hard cast Enter the Infinite. 
Like against D and T, and I just get up to like twelve mana, and I hard cast. Uh, I mean, I think it's an eleven mana card, but I, I get up to like some ungodly number of lands, and I just draw Enter the Infinite, and I'm like, okay, let it rip. I'm gonna tell I want to revisit too because I want to put uh, Shouldred in there, and Orcish Bowmasters, and peer through the abyss, peer into the abyss. Ooh, they're casting a spell. Green Sun for two. I swear to God, if this is Collector Roof. We can actually beat Collector Roof with what we have. Oh, it's Destiny Spinner. Oh my God, okay. We we can beat Collector Roof with what we have. Uh, Song Creation, one of the benefits of this, this card is that it gives you an easier time against uh, Collector Roof. Uh, I'm not going to pump in the mana yet. Five, six, seven, three. This lets me play two. I got one untapped there. Uh, green, red. All right, let's pop off, shall we? Song of Creation. If you're not familiar with this card, four mana enchantment, I can play an additional land on each of my turns. Whenever I cast a spell, I draw two cards. At the beginning of my end step, I discard my hand. Draw two. Ooh, that is a good magic card. We also get an additional land drop, which means I can play this in Venner's Fair. Um, I'm going to immediately untap my academy here. And I'm going to tap this, and I'm going to play Sahili. Two cards. There's a wheel. I don't really need the wheel yet, but I might start cycling some of these. <clears throat> I have my land to play. But mana is what I'm more tied up on. I think I'm going to crack this. And just add red and a green. Wish call, huh? So, I can wish claw. I can wish claw and find candle. I mean, we could just play wish claw. And see what works. Finding candle works really well with Sahili as well. <laughs> the music on this new playlist is so funny because sometimes it just feels like. Very atmospheric, kind of gets like a like an Atticus Ross kind of feel to it. And then sometimes it's like, this is the info dump scene at a police headquarters in an anime sort of thing, you know? Um, so I can make something else into a wish claw, actually. That gives me a double, double activation. If I make this into wish claw, then I can first wish claw for candle, and then I can wish claw for... Trawler? We only have ones. Oh, we have some twos. Scrap Trawler. So do I do that? Because I wish Claw for Candle. No, I don't have enough mana to play Candle if I do that. But uh, So maybe I have to... Do I have to double wish Claw? Wish Claw for that. Oh, <laughs> Okay, never mind. I can't do this. Um, because the the copy won't have the counters. Uh, I could just wish call for Black Lotus. I think that's a reasonable play to make. Uh, right, I want Black Lotus. I can play my land. I think I want Black Lotus. Yeah, I just want Black Lotus. Ooh, Retriever's a good one. Don't have a sack outlet yet. <clears throat> um, this uh, could become a copy of Black Lotus. Crack. Play an Aether Spell Bomb. There's also a, a world where this deck could play Grape Shot. There's the KCI. Okay. 
Much like the best lines in the movie Shrek, it's all ogre. No loop yet, but <laughs> it'll come. I've got Retriever in hand. Okay. So I'm going to uh, sack a servo. I'm going to play a mirror retriever. I'm going to draw two. I mean, the best way to actually show this is uh, I KCI sack a servo for two, play a one mana artifact. So I go to one floating uh, and then I make another servo off Sahili. So I, I end up going up mana. I end up drawing a lot of cards. Also just like, Play a two mana thing, make a servo, sack both for four, and I'm up three cards because I cast something with song creation. So that was, we could have tried going off on turn four. Uh, we wait until turn five because our opponent had a bunch of mana. Blue mana open and it was a little worrisome, but uh, yeah. Cheeks were clenched with all that open blue into GSZ 4-2. I'm going to keep this because it has KCI in hand. Yeah, this card is like such an incredible mistake. Um, it is one of, if, if I, I imagine it's evident, if not by this deck I'm playing, but also just like, I mean, why, why you know who I am, um, is that I love this card. This is the card that I, it also is the card that I grew up on. Um, like when I really started to play like, actual proper tournament magic uh was in mirrodin block and i played this kci deck let me see if i can find the kci deck kci mirrodin. deck there's a world championship deck uh manuel manuel kci manuel bavond is that who you are world championship X 20, 2004 MTG. Yeah, check, take a look at this deck. So I played four KCI, four Chrome Mox, all artifact lands, Thought Casts, Serum Visions, Fabricates, one Fireball, one Goblin Charbelcher, and four Mirror Incubator. If you don't know what Mirror Incubator is, six mana artifact, pay six, tap, sack it, exile any number of artifacts from your deck, make that many one ones. This card could, this deck could like turn two, turn three you, and it was still not fast enough. I love this deck so much. Oh, that's a good draw too. Um, yeah, let's just develop a Terrarian. It looks great here when you build everything around it. Yeah, it is such a prime example of a build around where like, there are other combo cards that are obviously kind of heinous in what they do in their application um, that by themselves, like, or sorry, that you could just play without additional pieces, right? Time Vault's a good example. You need Time Vault and a card to untap it, but you can throw that shell, even if the cards don't do too much by themselves, into a variety of archetypes. Um, KCI, you need to just have every card in your deck or as many cards in your deck funnel into KCI. Holy smokes. A Lauren loop? What do you mean a Lauren loop? Are they going to like meticulous excavation me? Hmm. Oh. Hello. <clears throat> Very cool that this card can make an artifact into an elk. So this is definitely going to be one of those uh, games where we play KCI and we just have to go off. Um, I would like to not crack my Terrarian, but I think I'm going to because I need to just hit my... I need to hit lands. Terrarian's so good to have in play with um, KCI, but I want to I wanna draw a card to try and hit my land. 
gonna get a couple of shots at it. Haha, alchemist file. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm gonna pass. Whiffed on our land there. Uh, I think I might need Fabricate. Jar gives me a draw seven, but I think the One Ring might be better. Or do I want to can the One Ring? Because I can... One Ring draw, plus one. I think I bin the One Ring. If I need to get it back, I can uh, Memory Jar for it with Trawler and play. Oh, so you like eggs, huh? <laughs> Well, have all the eggs in the world. Pop, pop. Oh, shit. Okay, now we're on Academy or Bust. Well, the guy, it's the, this is, this predates Mr. Krabs. I guess he is more like, so you like donuts, huh? Like that. Oh. They're not killing me. Which is good. It's, um... Oh, who was it? It's, uh... uh Hank Azaria. It's Hank Azaria doing it. SpongeBob, me boy! <laughs> you like Krabby Patties, do ya? <laughs> well... Have all the Krabby Patties in the world! Uh, g -g 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 -g. All right, now the beatdown. Oh, fuck. Leave me alone. If we draw Tolarian Academy, we could just kill them, though. Come on, Tolarian Academy. Come on, Tolarian Academy. I would love to see a Tolarian Academy. Please. Please. Please rise for Tolarian Academy. Please rise for Tolarian Academy. SpongeBob, me boy <laughs> I've invested in Turkish cryptocurrency. How long before the SpongeBob secret layer? Oh, jokes on you. I don't have a land you could waste like. Are you banned blink? Destiny spinner throws me off. But it could be, they could be playing it just because it says creatures, right? People look at Destiny Spinner and they forget that it says creatures can't be, uh, what should we call it? Um, can't be killed. They could just be a Seeker Walk deck. But no, they can't be Seeker Walk because they have Mox. So I think they're Bant Blink. I don't, you're not going to Seeker Walk with Mox in your spread. I think they're Bant Blink. Trollarian Academy. Okay. Just a peek. Just a peek. Oh. No, SpongeBob would just be... Wait, there are so many things where SpongeBob literally goes to war. But SpongeBob would just be like a... a, a whatchamacallit? A group hug commander, right? You have SpongeBob be a group hug commander. Patrick would be like a Grathama or like a um, a stuffy doll kind of commander. Mr. Krabs would make treasure. Huh. I'm going to keep this. Because our mana's okay. We have a lot of lands. But our mana's pretty good. We have a song creation. We have fabricate. We have acceleration. I'm okay keeping this. 
Squidward would be stacks. Minskin Boo and Sandy Cheeks. Mm, Bob. Could get Taiga here. It just makes my other fetches a lot easier. Hmm. Gonna grab Trop. Hmm, Trop. I'm gonna play out a Mind Stone. This feels like a turn four, which might be a little slow. We also need to obviously draw some reasonable stuff. What am I gonna fabricate? I might fabricate for Black Lotus here. Patrick be a goad commander? Yeah, I could see that. Womans? I respect women. Wait. <laughs> it's Wall of Omens. The joke was the joke. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to play the clown horn. Oh, shit. Uh. <sighs> okay. That was clapping. Well, it started off with this, <laughs> but the the bit. Ah, never mind. Explaining a bit doesn't exactly undig my grave here. Mm, one black lotus, please. The joke was me saying I respect women and then playing the applause button um, because of uh, the uh, reception that men get for doing the bare minimum. Uh, and then I played the clown horn in it. <laughs> then it made it a completely different tone. Hey, speaking of segues, check out what I picked up. I've picked up yet another card that I I lost a copy of my copy of this card. I couldn't find it. And I didn't want to pick it up because it was pricey. But now that I'm going to start playing CDH, I had to get my copy of Null Rod. So I traded in some garbage and got a copy of Null Rod. Over at cardkingdom.com slash we Flicker Wisp for uh their Wall of Omens is pretty good. What I call you? Uh, uh. Mm. Do I want to fetch? No, I think I can play my Black Lotus first. Song of Creation. Whoa. Don't force a will me. There's no way. There's just no way. They could besage you my song creation, which I'm oddly okay with. Two mana, Cathar Commando? Momentary Blink. Oh. Wait, hold on. This actually works for me. Kinda. It gives them a turn to develop something to, to kill it. But it means I'm not discarding cards at the end of my turn. Yeah, I don't get to go off this turn, which is... But it's not the end of the world.
I've developed uh, the Aether Spell Bomb so that we, if they try to do any blink shenanigans, we at least have something of an answer. Because this is a triggered ability at the beginning of your end step, you discard your hand. So I don't have to discard it here. <laughs> Why would you clip that? Well, <laughs> Actively trying to just, what are you trying to make me lose money? Hey Ben, love the stream. By the way, what did you mean when you said this? No, please. All right, show me what you got. I'm the jerk for trying to turn for you. Yeah, thank you for all your help. This card is so cunty. You mean Song of Creation or Black Lotus? Uh-oh. Momentary blink. Now they can recur to the guard, find Lauren. And then they can Lauren. Thank you. They can Lauren my song of creation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we got some, oh, or Skyclave. Yeah, that works. We got some mail. Thank you for the order. You're welcome. You're so welcome. God, this packaging is... They really want to make sure your card gets to you. Where's my tiny knife? There's my tiny knife. They gave me a free gift with my card order. I got two things in the mail chat. They gave me a free gift of a Bisharp and a, and a Ducklet. I got a Bisharp and a Ducklet. But I did get some cool shit. Oh, this is Jesus Christ. Damn. They packaged this like they had to make like a packaging quota for the end of the month. They just, they're just like, all right, here, take this. This lets me find KCI. I don't know what that does for me right now. Um. I'm going to start by playing Guild Globe. Top is a good magic card. I think I'll play top. The fact that they can, they can keep up the momentary blink for the Skyclave, but as long as we have the Aether Spell Bomb, we can make sure that they're at least not doing it at instant speed. Mm, yeah, show me what I show me what you got. Twister, Star, Dark Water Egg. I mean Twister's okay. I don't know if I want it here. Um, because I think I'm going to fetch and then play this moon silver key. So I'm just gonna do this. Oh, so loud. One. I'm going to share all the goodies that I've received in the mail uh, at the same time. So I received two small packages. And now Mulder's on the table. I repeat, Mulder's on the table. Mulder, away from my very tiny knife. I thought I was... 
Lord's pass. I just order a single card from you? No, I don't. Okay, great. This may be exciting to uh, at least one person in the audience, but that's okay. I received uh, three of my four copies of Recycle Energy for Base Neo. A Gold Berry. And a Nightly Garbage Run. My Base Neo cards are coming in. Slowly but surely. I had a bunch of like eBay money. I don't know what it was from. But it was just like, hey, you've got cash. And I was like, okay. What should I get? I ordered some stuff. Some P99 stuff. Hallowed Respite. Yeah, I'm okay with this. So I'm going to get the 4-4. Four four. I'm going to get the 4-4. Four four. You're exiling my Moon Silver Key. Okay, I'm going to crack for 3 blue. And activate my Moon Silver Key. I'm going to get a KCI into my hand. You doing anything else in your main phase? There's a mod for the original Pokemon TCG for GBC that has Neo, Aquapolis, and Sky Ridge. I've seen slash heard of that, but they don't have Steel and Dark types, right? Ooh, the Reflector Mage. Stinky. Like, it doesn't have Steel or Dark programmed into the game. At least that's what I, I was told. Which, I understand why that's not the case. But it's also very disappointing because, you know, it's a big part of a wooga, a wooga. A big part of, like, uh, wanting to play with those cards. How can people even play this game? It doesn't have the fairy type. They have two mana up. And they have a Skyclave. As long as their last card isn't another blink piece, then I think we're fine. Pezzerit, the Seeker. That's a good sign. Even if this is swords, we're okay. We can play around swords here. Okay. Um, so we've shuffled the top of our deck. We have a free draw in the form of this. I have a Lotus for that. So I'm going to... I need to keep this in play, I think. I mean, I need to keep something that has a cost in play. Uh, I'm going to tap to draw a card. I'm going to hold priority. I'm going to sacrifice this top. Uh, Scrappy T is going to get back Black Lotus. Get back the Lotus. Draw that. That's a pretty good draw. I'm going to play this. I'm going to crack for three blue. Mulder's going to try to steal my drink again. I'm going to cast this. Draw a card. Draw a couple cards. Yeah, I think I want to cut this LED. This. this can find me in Venner's Fair. Uh, I have a... Crack this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... Map into... Fair into Retriever into 
with immunity to STP and creature removal. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack my uh, map uh, to find a Venner's Fair. So I'm going to develop the KCI Scrap Trawler, Mirror Retriever, Black Lotus, and a Cost Loop. Uh, Th Thought Monitor lets me do it too. Pretty nicely, but yeah, uh, we got there. Woo, that was close. That was close. GG's Kazakhan WPs. Yalk, what up? How you doing? Welcome back for the 55th month. That's too much. I could eat 55 eggs if they're delightfully devilish, Seymour. Could you imagine how many calories in a deviled egg? Well, that's not that bad. Well, I mean, eating 55 of these is bad either way, but that's not that bad. No, it's like a, it's like 80. I mean, it varies depending on the filling, obviously. But at least uh, the two websites I checked had uh, 80 calories to... Uh, one of them was saying that for a single deviled egg, it said 80. And the other one, it said two deviled eggs is going to be uh, 160, like five or whatever. Yeah, it's the cholesterol that gets you. That's what I, that's what I always tell my doctor. As I say, uh, I, I'm I'm uh, explaining to my doctor. <laughs> Doc, look, it's not the 55 eggs that's going to kill me, because calorie wise, that's not that bad. But it's the cholesterol. He starts taking down notes. Make them with plain Greek yogurt instead of mayonnaise. I mean, if you're committing to making and or eating deviled eggs, I think you, you go whole, you, you gotta, you gotta go with the mayo. Eggs don't kill people. Aren't eggs like atrociously bad for you? If you eat them like semi-regularly, like whole eggs. Uh, Jetmere's Garden. I'm going to see what I'm going to draw if you eat too many. Uh... Scrappy tea? Okay. I want to draw that. Although we don't have the mana. We don't have like the, the KCI or the Lotus. Um... Or like even, I mean, we don't have other sack outlets here. Mana Vault can occasionally be used <clears throat> if you play another sack outlet. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, my land. If I draw a Black Lotus, am I going for it? Maybe. Guild Globe? <laughs> Hi, Mulder. You a desk cat? Yeah, you a desk cat? You a desk cat? If I clean up my desk, I can show people my desk cat. Moving and grooving, Mulder? You want to give the people what they want? Oh, yeah, there you go. Here, give people on this side. <laughs> Here we go. Head is so tiny. She's a very small cat. It's wild. One moment she looks like she's a normal, larger sized cat, medium sized cat. And then the next, she's just tiny. Like, she's about as big as Morley was. And Morley was tiny. She's a bit, um, fluffier. Alder's fluffier than Morley was. She's just a baby. She's just a very old baby. Yeah, she's just like a 17-year-old baby. It's wild that this cat might be older than some of the people watching in chat. 
Am I aware of Drawfee? The name sounds familiar. I think she's 17. She's 16 or 17. Or she's turning 17 this year. Or, well, next year. Yeah, she's an old cat. She doesn't look like it, and she certainly doesn't act like it. She's starting to act like it more and more, but... No, we're, we're not listening to this. I'm sure it's fine, but I don't want to listen to Kickstarter ass music. Are there any merit to running those tapped artifact dual lands for these scenarios? Uh, I mean, you can play them. I don't think I want to play them, but you can play them. Mm, they're not really that threatening with the board. Like, it's just the, the trade-off is that they're so much slower. And it's really awkward for decks like this that have uh, a lower land count to run some of these tap lands. Because you really are just like, you know, you have these setups where you're like, okay, statistically, I'm going to draw an untapped land after X amount of draws while I'm comboing off, which I need to hit. Or, or you can make a make a play based off of your like being you know it's like in the like high 80s for you to draw an untapped land after four draws or whatever. Um, and just adding tap lands starts to chip away at that, which is not something I want to do. Not something I think you should do for these decks. When you have a higher land count or a slower deck, like a welder deck or whatever, then that's fine. Because that, that deck has like 35 lands plus three mocks, and it's more of a, a grindier control deck than anything. Renin six, huh? Scrabbling Claws is usually pretty good against Renin six. I mean, I'm glad that we got rid of the, uh, the fetch land while we did. One thing you might want to get used to is that just use this at like main phase. Like anytime your opponent only has one card in their graveyard, activate the claws. Moon Silver Key. That's a pretty good draw. Mm. Do I need to do it next turn? Sack, sack. <clears throat> I mean, I guess it's good to threaten it. Why did it become a link? Are you trying to get me to download Toy Story The Claw? Oh, is that just when the aliens go like, ooh, the claw? Did I do it right? It's been a it's been a hot minute since I watched that movie. I think I watched that movie in theaters. No, I would have been too young. I definitely saw a Toy Story 2 in theaters. Oh! Okay. Fans of the show are going to, uh, you know, it's, uh, fans of the show might be familiar with uh, a card that used to be my most hated card of all time. But mostly for, you know, it just mucked all the things I like to do in Magic. Okay, so now do I need to get Odawara for this? I could actually just get Black Lotus. I think Black Lotus is the correct call. Don't know how much I like getting this set up while my opponent has open mana. I think I want to get enough stuff in my graveyard. I can Alchemist Vial, actually, which might be kind of hot. Like, what if I... What if I just do it? 
Uh, what if I just do it? What are the odds that they have it? Three cards in hand. Didn't play anything. I could wait one more turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. So they have eight pressure. Plus, I know their deck. I don't know if I'm getting an extra turn to do this. So I'm going to do this now. Get this one into play because it's a mana ability. It's pretty important. Implement of Combustion. What's he being replaced by? No, it's Orcish Bowmasters. Or Opposition Agent, honestly. It's it's tough. Bowmasters are oppo. Uh, okay, so I am going to crack this for two. That's going to return Lotus to my hand. Draw another land. Lotus goes to my hand. I'm gonna crack this for blue green. Trawler is gonna return the egg to my hand. I'm going to sacrifice the claws, exiling this polluted delta. Trawler is going to return Mishra's Bauble to my hand. Draw a card off of Scrabbling Claws. And then I want to Sleeper Dart to get back my claws. And then this dying will get back Fall to Whispers. Or it could get back Moon Silver Key. It should get back Moon Silver Key on the off chance that we find a way of getting rid of Teak, which was kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, play a bubble. Play Black Lotus. Uh, I don't think I... Do I want to crack Lotus or do I need Lotus to do this all in one? I think I need Lotus to do this all in one. Right? One, two, three. TCI. Develop the land. Crack it. Yeah, I need to do it all in one. Yeah, I think it's Oppo. It's either Oppo or Orcish Bowmasters. Oppo, I think, is more egregious because what it punishes uh, overall... Um, Bowmasters is just a magic card that I don't like for not just the play patterns, but what it ends up hurt. Like it ends up just being, it's just a fucking mess, right? It's just a card that like stops people from playing cards that encourage making micro decisions, which I think are some of the best things that you can do in Magic the Gathering, especially at higher levels. Um... It is the best answer to itself. It punishes like creature decks and mana dork decks. And like that is just like, it just answers too many things, comes with too many bodies. It's too cheap, too cost. Like it's too easy to just play wherever. Uh, um, another one. And it's very There's obviously a push here. magic card to sell. Like obviously magic cards get pushed to sell any kind of product, but it's a card where you look at it and I refuse to believe this card uh, didn't start at three mana. You know, that is absolutely a card that started at three mana. And I was just like, well, we really want to push this product. So here we go. Okay, having a second Canker Bloom. This might be a little tough. These these creature decks that play uh, Kasali Pride Mages and Stacks pieces, uh, or Hate Bears, rather, uh, can be a bit tough for us. Mista Calf, thank you for gifting a sub to the community. That one went to Sing Amuse. That's incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much. Fro Froyo Baggins. I 
like, this is bad news. They might save her for our KCI. Because we would need to draw... We need to draw Aether Spell Bomb or Pyrite Spell Bomb. Uh, Surgical Skull Bomb, I think, is too expensive to do it. It's all likely too expensive anyways. Um, this deck doesn't have Portable Hole. This is probably one of the issues about being in Rug. Yeah, Opposition Agent, I do think, is just, like, kind of egregious because it punishes... It doesn't punish... It punishes people for tutoring, but I think more so it just punishes people for playing Magic. I got sent a message. Wait, what? Where do I see the message? Where did, where did you send me a message? I know I'm your opponent. I don't know if I should hit Lotus here. Uh, I don't hate it, but it's not the worst to wait. Like, I don't hate actually hitting Lotus here, uh, if I'm my opponent. Got an Ar Arwin? Ar Arbin? Ardeans? You trying to get out? Okay. <sighs> I can't cast this KCI. I could get... This deck might need Moonsnare Prototype. Moonsnare Prototype is a card that I was pretty high on uh, when it came out. Didn't really make the cut for eggs. Ooh. I can block. Not to brag, but I can block. I am undefeated. I am undefeated. But Moonsnare Prototype would let me, um, would save me. Cast a Grim Monolith. Make a servo. Should have maybe added red to sacrifice this. We're playing block construct. What? Block constructed? Because their deck has so many Lord of the Rings cards. Mm. Ooh. Rexian Furnace. I want uh, this become a copy of Grim Monolith. You are the ring bearer? That's going to become the ring bearer. Look that I'm at two. 
We could sleeper dart one thing. <clears throat> oh. Block, because I can block with a construct. Oh, fuck. You couldn't see it. I did the biggest eye roll you could imagine. They're canker blooming this. Mission accomplished. Uh, I am going to sacrifice this to eat your canker bloom and to draw a card. Oh, we did it. We drew the we drew an answer to Teague. Holy shit! Holy shit! Everybody, calm down. Everybody, calm down. Everybody, calm down. Everybody, calm down. Calm down. I'm going to sleeper dirt this and then I'm going to pass. This card is so messed up. <laughs> She's so good. I have more Pokemon cards that I want, uh, that, uh, uh, I'm, I need chat. By need, I mean I ordered them. Oh, this Pokemon card came in a Gristlebrand sleeve. I didn't even notice. Check that out. Look at that. I got a Gristlebrand sleeve. Have a good one, Hungry Tanuki. Thanks for the hangs. Sahili, best girl. She is, like, my favorite. Uh, her and Grist. Oh, my God. Are you fucking serious? I started. Ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs> I started streaming this format to not get killed by you casting a questing beast. That's so fuck. All right, we're dead. Um, if we survive this turn, I think it's worth talking about. If we survive this turn, we can Moon Silver Key up KCI, and we can blow up the Teague with the Pyrite Spell Bomb. But uh, we there's this four four we can't block. Okay, we put up more of a fight than I thought we would, especially because we got uh blown the fuck up. All my decks that aren't my meme dredging the rock play questing beast. Heck of a card. So many words. Questing beast is a hell of a magic card. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. So we can turn one, develop an egg. Turn two, we can Saga into Grim Monolith. And then we can take a game plan and make some tokens until we're ready to try and combo kill them. We have been a little... We have been struggling to these uh, disruptive creature decks. Oh, just uh, struggling against. We played a couple of them. I say struggling, but we actually... I mean, we're, we're doing okay. Mm, sure. Just like typically for low land count hands, I like keeping the uh, I like playing out the traditional eggs first, they let you filter into like hitting your land, which is kind of nice. Do the music stop, or is this a quiet song? Oh, I see. I wish the volume slider for this was a little more responsive.
I'm gonna save the activation. The Grim Monolith. Could use it to develop the Sleeper Dart and play around any kind of uh, artifact destruction. <sighs> come on, ref! Come on! Ooh. <laughs> we don't have enough to play it, but it, it's a funny gut. I'm not cracking this egg in the hopes that I draw the Lotus Petal or, like, Black Lotus to get the spine out. Odawar is not a bad one. Hmm. Hey, Wheeler, was just looking back at the games, was just playing Bant Pod Blink with Panharmonicon effects that I never drew into. Ooh. I kind of had you at Bant Blink going into game... Uh, before... Game two really took off. I was like trying to figure out what it was. I think I got to ban blank, but the pan harmonic out effects is kind of hot. That's just going hard. I respect it. Respect the hell out of it. Okay, I'm going to make a big blocker and then you're either going to kill my blocker or you're going to kill my saga. I'd probably recommend killing the saga. Now here I am, barbecue sauce all over my titties. Got nothing to do. I do have this 5-5. Five five. I guess that's something to do. Mm. Mana Vault, eh? I think I'm okay playing Odawara because we have the Surgical Spell Bomb. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just playing out all these artifacts and then hitting them for a bajillion. Are you watching Bar Rescue again? Oh. They just sounded like John Taffer. There's also a world where I don't attack here. Oh, they just want to trade? Okay. There's a world where I don't attack because, like, realistically, is this the matchup where I'm going to win off of off of damage? Um, and, like, maybe because we have Surgical Spell Bomb and we have a Mana Vault, which is pretty good. We don't have a, a Sack Outlet. Like, if I had KCI, maybe. Oh, shit. This card's pretty good. We could Surgical Spell Bomb it. Excuse me. Do I want to bounce this? Do I want to start cycling? Let's start cycling. Chrome Mox, not great. Mm, sack this egg. Four, seven. Spine of Ishsa. <laughs> Could attack their lands. I'm just going to attack their uh, Boromir. What are the points? Uh, oh, Black Lotus and a Vault. Black Lotus, Mana Vault, Wish Claw, and Academy. I guess I should have attacked first. It's kind of awkward because I don't know that I'm doing this with the floating mana from the eggs. And like, if I don't hit the, the mana, then I'm not attacking. I might spend my next turn just untapping this mana vault, depending on, oh, well, we could take the, we could take the initiative. 
Have I tried One Ring Paradox Engine? Yeah. Do you mean the like all in version? I haven't built Twiddle Paradox yet. Or like the Turbo One Ring deck. I have Paradox Academy with the One Ring that um, also looks to maximize the One Ring a little bit. That deck feels cracked. They didn't attack. Is it better? I think I can take one and then pivot to untapping the Grim Monolith. If I really want to use my turn doing that. Kind of in an awkward spot here. Like I want to just draw more cards. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, KCI and we're off to the races. One ring would actually be kind of a hot pickup, too. I might cash in the Surgical Spell Bomb. Yeah, this hand was a little reliant on the Saga to get anything going. It's kind of interesting playing this deck because it's obviously doing powerful stuff, but it lacks the resiliency of a more traditional eggs deck. And it lacks the ability to just top deck. I mean, we have some game winners. Boats token said to the clown, take the initiative. Uh, no, I'm not a fan. I think it's pretty, it's a little mana intensive, right? I have to avoid playing the prophetic prism if I want to do it. Uh, I mean, because I don't have this land yet. Um, and then I bounce this, attack. They just take the the seven or whatever. And then they get the initiative back. Like the initiative, me having the initiative doesn't really do that much. Like I'm not, I get a, I get a basic. I guess it stops me from taking two, but like... The pattern, I, I think this, leaving this back ends up helping me more. Like it keeps me alive longer than attacking them. Oh, right. You're the ring bearer. So we could, we could pivot to this now. Like we could bounce Tajik and sleeper dart their token and then threaten to hit them for a billion. How do I feel about that? Like now that we have some stuff set up, maybe if I want to, like if this is the line that they're taking, you get hit for five if I go to the trap. I think I'm still in the line of like, yeah. Right, I can't block either of them. I forgot about the ring bearer part of uh, Boromir because uh, I always do. Uh, they play that, do that. Need to draw. I have the prismatic. I have the prophetic prism. Who, you don't do it for me? Three. No, I don't have enough. Hmm. We're really struggling against the uh, Outland Liberator, Cathar Commando style decks. The blow. We're. I mean, we're struggling against the artifact destruction, which is something that other. Uh, academy decks don't really run into. I mean, they run into it, but not not as much as as this has felt like. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in big dookie. But that's okay. Um. Oh, sick! I noticed that I didn't start recording. Great. I could probably. I could maybe fit one more. Let's get one more in here. GG's wormy. I can get one in one more, but then I got to do uh, some last minute prep for tomorrow. 
there's somebody that wants to fight, I can fight. Or I could just call it. Whatever you want. This deck has definitely felt wor <laughs> felt worse than traditional eggs, but maybe that's because we should be... This feels like a deck that I want to build with, like... Maybe not rug. Like, maybe we throw in black. And we add Beseech the Mirror. Like, turbo KCI, right? Eggs is already KCI stuff, but, like... Get a, get a Beseech the Mirror in here. Maybe get a Time Sieve in here. You know? Thopter, we could do Thopter Sword and... and uh, or Thopter Foundry Sword of the Meek. Um, we could add the... The Basalt Monolith, Rings of Bright Hearth. There's some other stuff we could do. Not sure which one I want to do. Uh, I'm just going to call it there. Yeah, I feel like I've gotten... I feel like I got what I wanted to get out of playing this deck was a... Huh. Okay. Okay. Glad of it. I've learned so much already. Uh, thanks everybody for watching and for tuning in. Uh, I will... I might not be able to stream tomorrow because I have to do... I got Okie Oki in the morning. I got Friday Night Paper Fight in the evening. And then in the middle, I have uh, a small pocket of time that I have to do some filming for uh, PPR stuff because next week is, is a fucking mess. Let me tell you that. Um, but if I have time, I'll, I'll get a stream in. Uh, just type in CK. Card Kingdom, sponsor the stream. Cardkingdom.com slash Wheeler. Use that link. Pick up your cards. It helps me. Helps channel all that jazz. Mana Traders, sponsor the stream. There's an updated code, Ben Wheeler underscore M42, to get 10% off your subscription for the first couple of months. Using that referral link also helps me in the channel uh, and lets me do these streams. And you too can play Canadian Highlander for like 20 bucks a month and uh, jam him against my ding dongs. It's got to be a better way of wording that. Uh, let me drop your kids off somewhere. Let me drop your kids off somewhere. <laughs> hey, who wants to play Magic the Gathering or watch people play Magic the Gathering? It's everybody's favorite f game, Magic the Gathering. Go watch uh, Loading Ready Run. It's Adam and Graham and they're playing Magic the Gra uh, uh, Gramthening. I'll see you tomorrow, but not here, elsewhere. Bye-bye.